Hello guys, so you have here, um, little pickup video, uh, uh, GameCube oriented, um, not that much this time, um, I'm happy to say because <laughs> I need to fucking calm down, for fuck's sake, so yeah I might as well start with the GameCube stuff, um, it's, a, it's not a you know, rare thing but it's a very cool thing that I got. Uh, a guy was selling these, uh, this one on uh, Facebook, still sealed, and he didn't get what he wanted. So afterwards, I contacted him and I just gave him, you know, just gave him a low price, and he took it. Uh, so Biohazard Zero uh, Trial Edition. Uh, it it's only came out in Japan. I think so. It's a pretty cool little thing. Uh, normally, I don't collect these, but there are, you know, like I said, there are a few uh, series that I collect uh, hardcore for, you know, Final Fantasy and uh, Resident Evil and such. Um, I really liked uh, the Nintendo 64 game of this, so uh, I really wanted to try this one as out as well. The N64 a game is awesome. Wave Race, uh, Blue Storm on the GameCube. I uh, hope this is as good as the Nintendo 64 one. And the, then a rest of the game that I thought I had on the cube in really fucking nice condition. Uh, it's an extra thing in there so I have to ask you guys what that is. But It's Resident Evil 4. So now I got Resident Evil 4 on uh, shut the fuck up. I just take Facebook down. There you go. So I got Resident Evil 4 on uh, three different system now. I think yeah, the Wii, the GameCube, and the PlayStation 2. Yeah. So yeah, it's with a two disc. But he also in there was also a vet envelope and another Resi. Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 disc and it says on it not to be sold separately so it has to be came in a bundle like so that's pretty cool and it didn't say anything about that so it just sent that with me with it so that's fucking awesome uh, so anybody know what that is please let me know I have googled it I haven't found out really what it is then I got another system. Uh, why the fuck did I get another system for? Uh, because I, I want to play. Uh, I want to play uh, NTSC American uh, GameCube games without using uh, fucking freeloader. So uh, I bought this. This was this was less than uh, twenty pounds. Uh, it's a Japanese GameCube. Uh, pretty nice nick, you know, little dings back here, not dings, like some darker color or something. I'm probably gonna get that off. You know, everything else looks really nice. So I'm gonna... So I asked uh, the guy that was modding my, mods my machines, you know, can you mod it? And he thought I meant to PAL, but I don't need PAL. I have my, you know, the old... Uh, uh, the old GameCube for that, so I just want this to play American, and he said, "Yeah, that's easier." So I already paid for that, but it's not done yet. Uh, the guy who does it actually does the work. He lives here in my city, so I'm gonna go over to his place and drop it off. So yeah, I'm gonna play American and yeah Japanese as well on this one, and I love orange. So <laughs> that's my third, fourth GameCube I have. Mm, maybe them in tenth, fifteenth over the history. Yeah, I love that system. So that yeah, that was a GameCube. Uh, Game Boy Advance system. I don't buy much game for us. For uh, I don't know why because I really like it. You can play with a Game Boy player as well. So about Castlevania. I don't know which Castlevania it is. Um, because I don't remember. Because there are like several on the Game Boy Advance, I think, like two or three. So I got that one. 
uh, ship game Red Ninja and of Honor like a um, action adventure hack and slash kind of uh, awesome game for the Wii uh, I have the one for uh, Nintendo DS this is a great game you should definitely look look into this game it's like a not easy RPG but you know it's Disney <laughs> RPG Spectrobes Origins uh, it's a great game definitely look it up it's, it's cheap so uh, Tenchu game Tenchu uh, Wrath of Heaven not bad nice, nice nick Two PlayStation 1 games, uh, Japanese ones. Uh, this one, I love this series, Bomberman. Happy to get that. I haven't looked inside yet. Yeah, discs are always fucking immaculate when I buy from this guy. Everything there. And uh, Capcom Generation 2. And uh, this is with. Um, uh, fuck, they call now. Uh, Ghost and Goblins. Uh, Gauls and Ghost, uh, Super Gauls and Ghosts, and I think there's one more game, I'm not sure. Yeah, but all those are here on the PlayStation. Uh, I would like to get all the series. Um, I'm probably gonna get that someday, but these are awesome. And then it's a game that I really like on the PlayStation 2. So when I saw this on the, it was a Game Boy Advance of it, I had to have it. Kim Possible. Kim Possible is an awesome PlayStation 2 game if you didn't know that. Uh, also Disney. Uh, Mega Drive game. Super Thunderblade. Why did I get this? It's because of my the huge controller I have, you know, with a steering wheel. Uh, I think that controller is made for these kind of games, so finally I can use that controller. I don't know if you've seen that. I showed that hundred vids ago maybe. Uh, Maybe I have to show it again. It's an awesome, awesome, cool controller for the Mega Drive. So I basically got that for that Super Thunder Blade. Another sheep game in this series. Uh, I got the first one the other week, and now I got the second one, Dynasty Warriors 2. This is a long series, so a lot of games more I need to finish this series. Nice fucking Nick. And uh, yeah, then I got a peripheral. Gun Con for the PlayStation uh, by Namco. And it's in fucking awesome condition. I didn't know it was in this nice neck. It looks absolutely new. The papers. Uh, yeah, you have the gun. See that? Looks absolutely new, so I'm really happy to get that for that price. So now I'm gonna play some Time Crisis on the PlayStation. That's awesome. I never used a gun on the PlayStation One before, actually. So that that. Uh, yeah, I think that was that. Yeah, no, fuck no, I, I did GameCube galore, man. Right? It's another GameCube preview. Uh, it's the second boxed one I have now. Uh, it, I think it's the best controller ever made. I rank this number one. It's an Nintendo GameCube uh, Wavebird. In very nice neck. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. Since I just got it. Like uh, came home about half an hour ago from the post office. the papers the blue baggy let's see how the controller is nice nice fucking condition this is the best controller I think of them all to be honest and of course it's with the uh, with this one as well otherwise it's pretty much useless the controller so that's my second um, wave bird I'm fucking happy with that and you know I have friends over 
It's always nice when everybody can play it wireless, to be honest. I'm not putting that back in, that's going to be used immediately. So yeah, that was that. 10 minutes, it's pretty pretty fast for me. Uh, I'm gonna do a, I think I'm gonna do a, a one more vid today. Paul Bradley uh, asked some questions. 10 games thingy with a contest. I think I might might do that. Eva Haler, fucking awesome Ollie man. Uh, I'm not gonna take down that um, Santa Cruz man and do an Ollie on that one. That is. This. <laughs> that piece is too rare to fucking do that on. I'm probably gonna break it. But. If I find the other. One of the old one up in the attic. I'm gonna Ollie you one as well. Uh, uh, yeah. So was that. Thank you. Be nice. And uh, I see you guys in Blackpool. I haven't booked yet, but if somebody knows which hotel I should, you know, book at, you know, let me know. Because it would be cool if we live close or even fucking, you know, in the same building as uh, where the. Uh, where it where it where it is, you know. Uh, I don't want to walk far, take a tram and cap taxi shit like I did in Manchester. So let me know uh, which hotel I should book. It'd be cool if we had stayed at the same hotel as well, you know. After parties, uh, so yeah, be nice. Take care, boys and girls.